Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer and this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter Part 5. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, I had to look up exactly how to do this um, little section right here. If you look around you'll notice all these like little markings and stuff. And, uh, and I'm noticing that like I found two bodies so obviously you know you see the two markings right there. Here's the thing though is that um, I honestly just... I, I went around looking a little bit, and I, I couldn't find very many other bot or I couldn't find any other bodies, to be honest with you. And so, yeah, I, I decided, fuck this, I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up. And, uh, so we're at the final bit right here. Excuse me, I just bumped the microphone right there. Um, and I don't know what's gonna happen next, I actually don't. I looked up a paper walkthrough, meaning, like, uh, it just tells you what to do here, here, and here. And so it showed me a little image of um, the various different symbols, and so I know the last one, and then uh, whatever happens next is completely up to uh, completely up to the imagination. Here we are. Protect me, protect me, zombie! Holy shit, that is a squid. Okay, that, I think that's what he was talking about when it met the sea creature thing earlier. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That's not good. Whoa. Please don't kill me, sea creature monster. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Alright. How is it making that noise? I didn't know squid creatures made noises like that. Alright, whatever. Okay, what's this say? Oh, the sea thing, not creature. Excuse me. Uh, the curse of the sea thing. The... Uh, what, what would that be? Uh, Enotian? I'm gonna go with Enotian. The Enotian uh, Necronomicon. Uh, the iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them. Wanted to. Uh, excuse me. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm putting in punctuations that aren't there. Uh, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb some and disturb some in the sea thing Naya. One miner realized the ritual would unleash Naya's flood upon this world. And so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with blade shards of magic Elton. Elton? Elton? Eltdown? Uh, Naya, in response, cursed the miner, who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from surround, uh, summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. And I'm guessing that's what the other Ethan, zombie was. I told was. you to stay out. Monster. Whatever. God damn it. Look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home. Hmm. Okay. Sorry I had such a hard time reading that one. It was... I don't know. I don't really have an excuse. That was... It was just poor... Poor ability at reading. Okay. What's this say? Uh... Reply to a request for clarification. Dear Mr. Carter, so this is um, to Dale, I suppose. Uh, the United States Patent and Trademark Office's, uh, Office has received your January 29th, 1973 letter requesting further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent, whatever the fuck that says, was rejected by this office. office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record from you more than four dozen requested patents submitted in the last 16 months. None have uh, has been successful, and all have been met with challenges by you, Mr. Carter. We would like to cons we would like to consider this matter and further matters administra uh, administratively closed. And sincerely, James Mackey. I'm sorry I'm having such a hard time reading right now. I don't know what the fuck's going on with me, to be honest. 
Alright, what's this say? Uh, Dale, get your shit- get your shit out of our basement. Bring it to the goddamn dump. I am so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on my way to the washing machine. I'm not kidding, neither you move out- I- <laughs> I actually- whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know why I was backing up like that. Alright, so, um, hopefully there's something further down into this mine, otherwise I have no idea where to go next. Hopefully there's nothing more than I have to read for a while, because I'm having a really hard time doing that at this moment in time. Not really sure why. Uh, actually that looks like there's nothing there. Just a bunch of darkness. I'm trying to actually cram pretty much all this game into one sitting. Uh-oh. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Oh, actually, I think we're at the end here. Mm, uh, yeah, we are. Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll go down there into there in a second. I want to go to the very end and see what if there's anything. It does not appear as though that is the case. Alright. Let's take a right. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to cram the rest of this game into one sitting. What the fuck is going on with the frame rate? Jesus Christ. Is this gonna hurt? No? Alright. I suppose there's no life in this game. It's just, uh... <laughs> I I'm getting kind of, um... What was that game called? It was made by the Chinese Room a couple years back. I'm getting kind of a Dear Esther. That's what it was. Dear, a Dest Dear Esther sort of uh, feeling from this game. Um, obviously more interactive. Uh, you know, you're you're doing more as the players. You know, Dear Esther is, in a sense, kind of a walking simulator. Um, if anything. Whereas, obviously, this game has uh, some form of interactivity. But, uh... Yeah. Even with that, still, I'm getting that, that sort of feeling from it. I could feel two from kinds it. of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. And it wanted me to leave. I suppose it's uh, the same sort of vibe. I guess that's the best way of describing it. Oh, I can sprint, sort of, when I'm crouching. Alright. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh. Can I go up here? Is there anything up here? That is weird. Alright. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything of importance in this immediate area. I'm gonna go over here, see what's going on. Oh, hey! Okay, yeah, so this is a dam. I, w I was thinking it was. I remember uh, crossing that bridge. Dam, whatever. And that's, uh... Where that... What was it? The, the Doors of Confusion? That's that house up there with all the portals. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, well, we got another uh, thing to investigate here. Axe-shaped discoloration, discoloration, fire axe cabinet. Alright. So I gotta find an axe. Alright, there's some carpet. Where the axe is. Oh, that's Dale. Shit. Alright, so we gotta find the axe. And it's right next to Dale's dead body. Didn't look like the axe had any blood on it, though. So I'm a... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, the door was destroyed from the inside or the outside, not sure. Excessive force. Was it desperation or was it rage? So, the door's broken. Ah, oh, there's Dale. That's too bad. Pretty much the only person out of the group, with the exception, I guess, of the grandfather. Of the people trying to keep Ethan from being murdered. So, pen holder was overturned, scattered accessories. Scissors, pencil, letter opener, ruler. Okay, so... Something was taken in kind of 
desperation, I suppose. Okay, scissors. I'm not sure why the scissors are already uh, all the way over there, but yeah. Okay, so it's an open space of some sort. On some sort of a platform. Okay. There's a punctured throat. No sign of a struggle. Alright, so I still gotta find... Okay, I gotta get the scissors. And I gotta return the axe back to uh, the axe... Um, holder. <laughs> uh, Alright, so still gotta get the scissors though. God damn it. Alright, so where is this place where the scissors belong? Okay. Still not totally sure where to go. This one could be a little bit tricky. Oh my god. That is bad. Alright. Oh, here we are. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining that it was Travis that killed Dale. Because I can't imagine the grandfather doing it, and I really can't imagine Ethan doing it. So, the only other logical conclusion to come to is, is, uh, is Travis, who most likely had the axe and was chase. Well, then what about... Okay, well, I'm thinking and was chasing the father, but then what? what's up with the, with the scissors in that case? Hmm. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Okay, gotta return the scissors, though. Anything else, buddy? Nope. All right, cool. All right. I fucking knew it. I called that. I called that shit. I knew it. Okay, so yeah, D uh, Dale was getting chased by Travis with the axe, just like I said. Travis found, or uh, Dale saw the scissors in uh, the supplies holder right there, which is inside of a coffee mug. And he was like, I'll fuck you up, dude. I, I got a pair of scissors here. Fuck your axe. Alright. All right. So far, I'm start. I'm thinking that it's in order. Like this would be one, two, three, four. But judging from the pattern, it's usually either five or six. Yeah. See, and here's five. I guess this would be one. Yeah, because Dale has the axe in this in this area. Okay. So Dale attacked Travis here. Travis overpowered him, took the axe, and just started chasing Dale. All right. So. Let's just go in order of the way I see them. So one, two, three. I got it right? Okay, cool. All right, bitch. Let's go. She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I, I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all so sick, you know? Since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Talk to me! Okay, okay! He wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh god. Oh god! 
The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes, he chose Mom. He chose me. Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are going to save you? Yes. Jesus Christ. That was fucking stupid. Why? Why did why? Why did you do that? This way, he could have helped the sleeper, helped us. But mom's right. You're a coward, and you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. So there's another one I gotta follow. I honestly do not understand why Dale did that. Like, is it pride? Is it like, fuck you, I'm gonna, if, if someone's gonna kill me, it's gonna be me. Like, that makes no sense. Congratulations, dude. Now it's just the only form of defense that, that Ethan has now is a fucking 70-year-old man. I mean, clearly we already know what happened, but it's like, the odds showed us that you know I mean it's a fucking young you know 20 year old guy versus like an 80 year old man or something like that no fuck that shit dumb 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 he stabbed himself in the throat like holy shit you disturbed it not me Travis we can get rid of it I know exactly what we're up against don't listen to what's in your head This sleeper is feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. All right, what does this do? Okay, I have no idea what the fuck that does and how it helps me, but... Cool. I have no fucking idea what to do next. Oh, I can unlock it? Oh, okay. Alright, so I think the next place I can try to go to see if I can... Or see what, see if, uh, you know, where the next place is to, to be would be past this uh, building here. Maybe I cross? Do I cross down here? Is that possible? I guess not. Huh. Well shit man, I have no fucking idea. Maybe I cross over down this way. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Perfect. It might just be my imagination, but I'm getting this... Whoa. Okay, calm down. Frame rate. This is getting silly. Stop it. Right, as I was saying, I'm starting to get this feeling that we're getting close to the end of the game. Not because of any, like, specific sort of theme or, or feeling or, uh, you know, what the atmosphere is giving to me, but more so just because there's not many close. people left to die. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. But yeah, like I was saying, there's not very many people left to die. There's, I mean, really, there's no one. Uh, Annie's already dead. Um, Dale is dead. There's Travis. There's Uncle Chad. All four of them are dead now. So all there really is left is Grandpa and Ethan. 
And last time I checked, Ethan, or uh, uh, the grandfather was not interested in killing Ethan. So, yeah. Not seeing how that's going to work out. I'm just going to stop for a brief second. Holy fuck. Just wow. <laughs> wow. You could even see, like, the reflection of the mountains off the water. Like, this is fucking beautiful. I can't get over it. This is... This shit right here, this is next gen. This is what, like, next gen is all about. Not that, like, watchdog shit. Like, this was what I was expecting. I think this is what everyone is expecting. And that looks amazing. Alright. Um, I don't want to go into this right now, simply because I feel like this is going to kickstart the next section, like I said in the previous video, so... Um, I'm going to stop it here. And, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time. Give me that shit. I'm jerking off! Leave me alone! That's what he was actually doing. Even he just died of autoerotic asphyxiation. That would have been a lot funnier if I didn't fuck it up.